Hey guys, it's May 14, 2011, about 9 a.m. here in the Philippines, and it's hot. As you can see, right behind me is a fan cooling me down because it's about 30 degrees outside Celsius, or about uh, 80 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit for my non metric friends watching right now. Okay, it's been a long time since I posted a uh, <clears throat> video here on YouTube. It's probably the first time that I actually did a video with the camera facing me. Uh, mostly because I was busy with work and other stuff, but I'm still busy now. But I was able to get a new phone that I would like to uh, share with you guys. Uh, let me just say that uh, I'm as uh, techno junky as most of you out there. I do ha I do like high-tech stuff I have uh, you know latest bridge cameras I have um, the latest dual core laptop running I even have a smartphone right here but there are times when all that technology just gets to you and uh, you just want to use a product that's designed uh, to be used as it was originally intended like a phone that was originally intended for making calls and making or sending text messages like the Samsung GTE 1080F a budget phone from Samsung um, this um, cell phone doesn't have a camera no internet not even uh, GP, uh, GPRS or Edge, no Wi-Fi of course, and it has a 1.43 inch display. And this baby doesn't know the meaning of viewing angles. You can just use it like that. You can't. <laughs> there's no viewing angle whatsoever. Okay, um, but it's a good phone. It's solid. It's thin. The keyboard, alphanumeric keyboard, is nice. It does use multi tap, of course, no QWERTY. It does have T9 though, but I don't use that because usually here in the Philippines I type in Tagalog. But the keyboard has a nice feel to it, a nice uh, clicky, uh, solid feel. And when you're texting, when you're uh, sending a text message, it's nice, it's intuitive, there's no lag when you're typing and I even uh, let my grandmother use this for a couple of weeks I believe and he didn't, she didn't have a tr uh, trouble using this and uh, the only drawback she said was that the uh, letters were too small let me give you an example of the uh, small See that small, the quick. Yeah, I was supposed to type the quick brown fox, but it's gonna take time. Anyway, um, it has a phone memory for uh, text messages up to about 300 text messages and about uh, 300 contacts. But you can also use the uh, memory of your SIM card to add to that. So if you have a big uh, capacity SIM card, probably gonna be up to 500 contacts and 500 text messages. Uh, some of the other features that are not uh, a usual in or usually in cheap handset we have calendar we have notes we have an alarm clock with up to five alarms we have calculator and uh, converters and other st stuff that you can use there's even two games uh, a sort of like a uh, bejeweled uh, clone of some sorts and stuff but here it is coup de gras it has a torch you'd never know when you're gonna use it 2012 is approaching just kidding um, but if you're stuck uh, in a place where you need torchlight then you can use this the battery life again let me say something about the battery life uh, let me compare that to my smartphone, the uh, Nokia N900. As you can see, 
the whole thing fits into the screen. This last me this would one on a charge would probably last uh, I don't know up to 24 hours, but then after that it will really die die out. You have to really charge it. This, however, would last me five days on a heavy use. I charge it. I charge it once. Use it extensively for texting and some some calls, and it will last me five days. Uh, I haven't charged this for about four days now, and still has about two bars left. And that two bars would probably last me up to Monday. It's a uh, Saturday here right now. So, if uh, you need something reliable when it comes to battery, this is a good phone for you. Uh, it sells about 900 pesos here in the Philippines. Uh, probably cheaper somewhere else uh, outside the Philippines, but for that. I mean, this is a great phone. When uh, cell phones first came out here in the Philippines, the cheapest would probably about $100 uh, with today's conversion, about uh, 4,200 pesos. And not a lot of people can afford it. And uh, it sort of like became a status symbol. If you have a cell phone, you're, uh, you're rich. But now, everyone can afford this. 900 pesos good quality good build um, the other one that I uh, bought from Samsung it actually lasts two years before I had to I mean I sold it and uh, the friend of a friend of mine who bought it still use it for I don't know uh, more than a year so it it didn't it still has it's still working right now actually she's just not using it so you know for 900 pesos this is a good buy so if you're looking for a cell phone if you already have a smartphone like me you already have a camera you have your iPod for mp3 and uh, you just need a second phone for probably a second line I used it mostly for texting my friends and stuff my uh, family because the other one is for work and this is a good uh, you probably don't need another phone with Wi-Fi or a phone with internet because you can do that with your other phone and you can even do that with your laptop so here's a recommendation for you the Samsung e, uh, GTE 1080 very cheap very durable and uh, you won't regret it so that's it and thank you